This is a question that I have received a couple of times in the past and never got the chance to address in a video, so I'm glad that someone brought it up again because it's a great question. The question is, what if a man that is a Christian marries a woman of a different religion and the woman comes to God? Is it still a sin? When it comes to marriage, no one holds it in a higher regard than God. He created it, and it is from him that we should seek to attain the answer. I know in this day and age, marriage is something that people abuse and hold little regard for. Some people get married one day and divorced the next simply because of a disagreement, or they were expecting some fairy tale movie style romance that does not resemble the reality of true love and marriage at all. The answer to the question isn't a simple yes or no. Thus, we should take it seriously if we are to come to the correct conclusion. First, there is a question that we should ask prior to this question, and that question is, why is a Christian marrying someone of a different religion? I know it seems a little odd to start with a question in order to attain the answer, but it will help to allow us to see the answer a little clearer. Here are a few scriptures that I believe will help to get a clear picture of what we should be looking for when seeking the answer to this question. In Deuteronomy chapter 7 verses 3 and 4 it reads, Do not intermarry with them. Do not give your daughters to their sons, or take their daughters for your sons, for they will turn your children away from following me to serve other gods, and the Lord's anger will burn against you and will quickly destroy you. When the children of Israel were coming close to entering into the promised land, the Lord warned them to not intermarry with the other nations. The question we should ask is why? Is it because the Lord was racist and just did not like them? No. The reason the Lord told Israel not to marry the other nations is because the other nations were worshipping false gods, and the Lord did not want Israel to sin by committing idolatry. We have an example of this happening to perhaps the wisest man under Christ, and his name is King Solomon. In 1 Kings chapter 11 verses 1 through 8 it reads, Now King Solomon loved many foreign women, besides Pharaoh's daughter. He married women from Moab, Ammon, Edom, Sidon, and from among the Hittites. The Lord had clearly instructed the people of Israel, you must not marry them, because they will turn your hearts to their gods. Yet Solomon insisted on loving them anyway. He had 700 wives of royal birth and 300 concubines, and in fact, they did turn his heart away from the Lord. In Solomon's old age, they turned his heart to worship other gods instead of being completely faithful to the Lord his God as his father David had been. Solomon worshipped Ashtoreth, the goddess of the Sidonians, and Molech, the detestable god of the Ammonites. In this way, Solomon did what was evil in the Lord's sight. He refused to follow the Lord completely, as his father David had done. On the Mount of Olives, east of Jerusalem, he even built a pagan shrine for Chemosh, the detestable god of Moab, and another for Molech, the detestable god of the Ammonites. Solomon built such shrines for all his foreign wives to use for burning incense and sacrificing to their gods. As you can see, no one is immune to being influenced by Satan's deception. This is why we should obey the Lord in all things concerning our lives and the lives of others. In case you were wondering, this isn't just a command in the Old Testament. It is repeated clearly in the New Testament as well. In 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14, it states, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? The Lord makes it abundantly clear that he does not want his people to be in close relationships with people who worship other gods, especially in a relationship as close as marriage. So the answer to the first part of the question is yes, it is a sin for a follower and believer of Christ to marry someone of a different religion simply because the risk is too great, not only with your life, but also the lives of your children as they will have to grow up in a household filled with confusion, not knowing which God to follow because their hearts are so tied to their mother and father, thus passing idolatry and deception down throughout future generations. Now, what if you just became a Christian or have been a Christian and just learned about the truth of this topic and are currently married to someone of a different religion? What do you do? The Lord has an answer for that as well. In 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 12 through 16, it states, But to the rest speak I, not the Lord. If any brother hath a wife that believeth not, and she be pleased to dwell with him, let him not put her away. And the woman which hath an husband that believeth not, and if he be pleased to dwell with her, let her not leave him. 
For the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife, and the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the husband. Else were your children unclean, but now are they holy. But if the unbelieving depart, let him depart. A brother or a sister is not under bondage in such cases, but God hath called us to peace. For what knowest thou, O wife, whether thou shalt save thy husband? Or how knowest thou, O man, whether thou shalt save thy wife? This is an excellent example of the Lord's wisdom and mercy. If you are currently married to someone who is an unbeliever, you should not divorce them if they want to remain married to you. The purpose of this is because by you living a righteous life and being a good example to them, it might win them over and help them become a believer and follower of Christ as well. Simply put, yes, it is a sin for a Christian to marry someone of a different religion, but it is not a sin to remain married to an unbeliever. Who knows? By your example, you may save a life for Christ. I hope and pray that this answered your question and anyone who may have had similar questions. If anyone has any questions either relating to this topic or another topic, please feel free to email me at servantofchristministries at gmail.com or leave a message in the comments section below. God bless you and remember to always follow Christ.